OK, so what I'd like to show you here is some Windows management features within Optic Studio. And you'll find these under Setup, Window Control, but you'll also find it directly within the workspace, wherever you are uh, in, in Optic Studio. So we have a couple of controls here. First of all, I'm showing all these windows in their floating mode, in which case you can freely move any window around anywhere you like and put it anywhere uh, you want, including taking it off the screen and onto a separate monitor if you wanted to. Under Windows Options, I also have the option to dock all windows, which puts everything into a single docked view like so. And this is useful if you're um, working with a small monitor, uh, maybe a laptop or something like that, and, and it just conserves your usage of space. But the docked view is capable of an awful lot more than that. So let me just take, say, this shaded model. And I can just click on the tab for the shaded model and drag it out. And first of all, I, I, I can just leave it floating. So I can have some windows docked and some windows floating. And which one it ZMAX uses is defined by the dock new windows control, whether uh, windows automatically on load, whether they dock or whether they float. I'm leaving that off for right now. If I just take this window again, you'll see the window control manager pops up and that lets me define a new workspace. If I put over this bottom arrow, you'll see I've got a new workspace here, or here, or here, or here. And I'm just going to choose the bottom workspace. And that's now puts this shaded view in its own workspace down here. And I can resize the, the uh, separations between these uh, workspaces. So if I just click on here, I can just resize that like so. And let me take this detector viewer which now you can see takes up a ridiculous amount of space for your detective viewer. So I'm just going to pull that down and I'm going to put it into its own little workspace here. And I'm going to take this detective viewer and I'm going to put that down here right next to it. So now you can see that what I have is a rather nice view where I've got the editor taking up the whole width of the screen and I have views of the system and views of the data from the system um, uh, at the same time. And this is just a nice, efficient use of space for me. But it gets a little bit better than that even. So let me just clone this window here. And that creates a new version of, of this window. Just It just creates a new copy of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and on this workspace, I'm going to hover the mouse over the central button. And what that does is it gives me these two windows tabbed together. And so what I can do now on this second tab is I might choose that instead of looking at false color, I want to look at a false section row. So I'm getting a, a cross section through the data. And so I'm looking here at the data here at a cross section through the data. Uh, I might also just want to change what we're looking at here and then maybe look at luminous intensity. So I'm looking at the luminous intensity of the uh, system here and I can switch between those two views of the same data. Uh, here for example uh, again I'm going to just clone this window and set this to a cross section view as well. And then I'm going to lock that in the same window. So again, I've now got two views. Now, I might prefer to have this view being the very first one. So I just need to move it over like so now that view is the first one. So this is a very, very flexible working arrangement. It lets you put anything you want anywhere you want. You can also define a little bit more structure if you want. If you're uh, really into structure, uh, then we also have the abilities for tile and cascade up here. We can also lock windows and unlock windows so that they cannot be updated all from this menu. If I go back to a freely floating view, which I can do at any time, I just right mouse click, uh, 
and you can see I can float any individual window or I can float all and if I just choose to float all they all refloat and I've got this button here that will just bring any specific view to the front as soon as I want it so prescription data comes up like so uh, if I want the editor it comes up like so so that's the layout views here uh, in uh, Optic Studio 14. Uh, you can switch between docked, floating and a nicely structured floating or uh, rather docked uh, window style. Thanks very much for watching.